a new chief for the World Trade Organization. Ngozi Okonjo Iweala is poised to become the first woman and African to occupy the post. A finance minister in Nigeria and top World Bank economist with a reputation for shaking things up, she now faces her biggest challenge yet in international trade, building bridges between adversaries and bringing a fresh approach to a struggling organization. With me now is WTO reporter Bryce Bashek in Geneva. Thank you very much, Bryce. So Okonjo Iweala poised to take the top job. What is she bringing to the table? Ngozi Okonjo-Iweala is an excellent pick uh, to lead the World Trade Organization. The 66-year-old Nigerian is a developmental economist who was educated at Harvard University in the 70s and earned her graduate degree in economics from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. She then spent 25 years at the World Bank, where she rose to the uh, second highest position and served two stints as Nigeria's finance minister. Uh, her term uh, as finance minister was generally considered to be positive. She helped negotiate a 2005 deal to write down uh, $18 billion worth of Nigerian debt to the Paris Club. She is also an American citizen who has lived in the DC area for most of her life now and um, will be the first woman, the first African, and the first US citizen to lead the World Trade Organization. Most recently, she has been the chair of uh, Gavi, the Global Alliance for Vaccines and Immunization. And this experience will help provide her uh, with a unique perspective on how the WTO can address uh, the pandemic. So Bryce, the WTO in recent years has become dysfunctional in a number of areas. Could you take us through some of those key issues and then perhaps give us some insight into what her approach is to resolve these? Well, the WTO does three primary uh, things. It helps nations negotiate trade deals. It helps them monitor those trade deals. And third, it helps them settle any disputes that they may have. So over the past 25 years, WTO has actually had a poor history of negotiating trade deals. It has uh, one trade facilitation agreement, but broadly hasn't uh, brought down uh, trade liberalization and tariffs since it was first established. Its dispute settlement function was paralyzed in 2019 by the Trump administration, who felt that it was not working properly. So the organization itself is now kind of in a holding pattern, and uh, most trade ministers around the world believe it needs to be reformed. Ngozi okonjo Iwala has campaigned as uh, her experience as a strong reformer in Nigeria, and she wants to bring together nations to come up with areas of common agreement so that they can move forward with new trade uh, negotiations and making the organization fit uh, to govern the 21st century uh, global trading system. Now, a word of uh, caution here, the director general uh, broadly doesn't have uh, as much power as, say, a uh, president or a prime minister. Uh, her job is to facilitate meetings, uh, to uh, set agendas, to speak to the press, and occasionally to help uh, mediate disputes. That said, uh, she plans to play a stronger role than uh, director generals in the past and uh, to try to bring this organization uh, back to its feet. The United States under Trump was the only country to veto her appointment to the top job. Uh, and we also know that US relations with the WTO in general have been strained for several years. So how significant is the change of guard in the United States now for the WTO? So uh, the Trump administration uh, there was, uh, did not really like uh, the WTO. President Donald Trump believed that China's um, accession to the WTO in 2001 helped China rise at the expense of uh, countries like the United States who saw their manufacturing uh, capabilities hollowed out as jobs were shipped overseas. Uh, Donald Trump even went so far as to say that the WTO was the worst agreement the U.S. had ever signed. His administration, through various policies, crippled the WTO and uh, most recently blocked the appointment of uh, Ngozi okonjo iweala to be director general. Now, the Biden administration has taken a different approach. Uh, President Joe Biden believes that multilateralism can be a helpful tool for the United States and the rest of the world's nations to confront global challenges. As a result, the Biden administration, as of Friday, has agreed to uh, endorse uh, Okonjo Iweala's uh, appointment as director general and has committed to help reform the organization as a much needed step towards uh, making it fit to govern the 21st century global trading system. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.